Hi everyone, it's Melissa and welcome to my Proverbs home. I want to welcome all my Proverbs friends. I hope you're doing great. Thank you to all my new subscribers that have subscribed to this channel. I hope you enjoy and you have a lot of fun here. Well, today I'm going to share with you five things that I do to keep my home clean throughout the week that I do every day. I do these five things and it helps reduce my task. It helps reduce coming home and having to clean and having to get things done. I try to do these five things every single day. Now these are the things that I do also, but I'm only gonna share today five and then maybe later on I'll make another video and share some other things. So let's go on ahead and get on with this video and let me share with you how I try to keep my home in order and keep the chaos down to a minimum. The one thing that I always try to get done every single morning is clean my stove. Whether I cook in the morning or make breakfast so whether we have a slight breakfast like maybe we'll have cereal or we'll have oatmeal so I don't really have to worry about the stove but I just try to wipe it down and I use this this is from great value from Walmart this is the multi-surface cleaner this stuff works really good it has vinegar in it so I like to just spray down my stove take a paper towel or rag whichever one works best and just wipe down the top of my stove and it also helps keeps my kitchen smelling nice. I like for my kitchen to smell really good. When I am home, I like to light a candle and put it at the center of my stove. And it just makes my stove just look nice and it gives it a nice aviance. So let me show you. So just like putting a candle in the center of my stove and it makes it smell so nice, makes the kitchen smell nice, especially in the fall when we have like different candles, like the pumpkin pie and the apple pie smelling candles and stuff like that. I like turning those on. Now my husband's allergic to candles, so I try to have more of the soft smelling candles. So let's go on ahead and let's go to number two. Another thing that's important to me is washing dishes. I like to keep my sink dish free and keep it clean. It makes it so much easier. Sometimes that's a little impossible. So what I do is I'll fill the sink or I fill a huge bowl with soap and water and then while we're so busy throughout the day, everyone can put their dishes in the soap and water. But I do make sure by the end of the night that my dishes are clean and the kitchen sink is free of dishes. Why do I do that? because it keeps the chaos down. It keeps it down the next day. If you don't wash your dishes and you keep them piled up by the time you do get to them, your kitchen will be a chaotic mess and it'll be hard for you to clean. So like I said, this is a multi-purpose cleaner, but I do use like the Clorox bleach and I use other sink cleaners to clean my sink, but right now I'm just gonna use that. I have these sponges that I get at Dollar General and I just wipe my kitchen sink down and make sure that my kitchen sink stays clean. It just makes my job a lot easier. It keeps the home clean. Sometimes my husband will come, he will usually washes after he uses a cup or something, but sometimes, you know, we're tired. He'll leave a cup or whatever he leaves in the sink. And right when everyone is in bed or when he's in bed, I just come out here and I make sure everything is the way I like it and I wash the dishes. I just enjoy doing it and I think it's very relaxing also if you're someone that doesn't like to wash dishes put some music on put on um, a podcast something you like to listen to maybe a story an audio book while you clean that will help kind of take away from being bored and try not to do too many things at one time if you're cleaning the kitchen that's all you feel you can do focus on the kitchen for that day and then maybe go to a different room the following day make yourself a schedule or something that would help you to keep your home clean and keep it to a minimum of messy okay now let's go on to number three Another thing I like to use are the tumble sheets. Now these are not just for your laundry. I use them in my home. I actually use tumble sheets in my bathroom and I use them on my couches. So now I'm just gonna show you how I use them on my couches to keep my living room smelling clean throughout the day. So I just do this once a day. It takes about five minutes or less and you can just do this to your couches and your couches will smell clean. 
and I go over the arms and on the cushions. And you can even if you want to go over your pillows and it just smells so nice. What else is great if you take your throws and you throw them in the dryer, that's why they call throws, <laughs> and you throw them in the dryer and you throw a couple of these inside your dryer for like 20 minutes. And let me tell you, when you take them out, they smell so nice. And then you can just put them back on your couches. That's what I do because sometimes my cat likes to lay on these and they can start smelling not that great. So I just take them, I try to at least wash them once a week, but if I don't get to them, I throw them in the dryer with some of these tumble sheets, and guess what? Voila! They smell wonderful, and it also keeps your home smelling fresh. Another thing that works really good is to clean the hot spots in your home. You might say, what are you talking about, hot spots? Hot spots are the spots like your kitchen table, the tables, your coffee table in your living room, maybe your dining room. Maybe those small little trash cans that fill up right away that are around your home. Cleaning those up every single day, emptying out those trash cans, cleaning up your table, gathering stuff and putting it in its proper place is a great way to clean your home. So let me go on ahead and show you what I'm talking about because God knows that here in our Proverbs home, we have stuff all over our tables at times when we're busy and we're going out and we're just going back and forth and things can clutter, especially in the bedrooms on top of the dressers. This hot spot here is a hot spot where my pencils are constantly, my books, my journal. This table here does not look like this all the time. Sometimes it is a mess. I have like papers and stuff like that. But then after a while, after one day goes by, that starts getting to me. So what I do is I have a cup here at my table where I put all my colored pencils. So when I'm sitting here and I want to do some kind of craft or I just want to color or do something, I have my pencils here and they're in a cup and I can just put them back neatly and they stay on this table. And then here I have some of my favorite books that I read in the evening time. So I like reading these magazines and these books. I enjoy them, especially in the evening time. I like sitting back and learning about birds and gardening and all the fun things. But if we don't put things back where they go, then we just have a mess. So I usually try to put these here neatly at night and keep them neat for the next day. And another thing that I try to do besides getting this picture up there that my husband drew me, I try to have coasters out on the table. Another hot spot are the garbage cans. Like this one needs to be emptied. I didn't empty it out yet, but garbage cans in the bedrooms and the bathrooms are so important to empty them out every single day to try or every other day to try to empty them out when they fill up because it keeps the home clean. It keeps the clutter at a minimum. These are some of my tips that I like to use in my home as much as I can because it helps me a lot. Helps me to keep the clutter and the mess to a minimum in my home. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found something that you might try in your home. Thank you to all my proverb friends and all my friends. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Tell me what was your favorite part of the video and what did you like that you think you can use in your home. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye.